A river is exerting force upon the summit of Mount Everest. Greetings to everyone. The focus of our video today revolves around a recent study published in Nature Geoscience, which indicates that erosion occurring within a river network located 75 kilometers from Mount Everest is responsible for an annual rise of the mountain by as much as two millimeters. This phenomenon, referred to as isostatic rebound, has led to an increase in Everest's elevation by between 15 to 50 meters over the course of the last 89,000 years. The erosion caused by the Arun River has played a significant role in this uplift, also impacting surrounding peaks such as Lhotse and Makalu. Researchers underscore the dynamic characteristics of the Earth's surface, drawing attention to the intricate relationship between erosion and geological forces. Without further delay, let us begin our discussion. A study featured in Nature Geoscience has revealed that a river network located approximately 75 kilometers from Mount Everest is significantly eroding a large gorge. This land mass reduction is contributing to the upward movement of the mountain, which is rising by as much as two millimeters annually and has resulted in an increase in its height ranging from 15 to 50 meters over the last 89,000 years. Standing at an elevation of 8,849 meters, Mount Everest, referred to as Chomolungma in Tibetan and Sagamatha in Nepali, holds the title of the highest mountain on the planet. It surpasses the next tallest peak in the Himalayas by approximately 250 meters. The height of Everest is regarded as unusually elevated within this mountain range, as the subsequent three tallest peaks, K2, Kangchenjunga and Lhotse, exhibit a mere difference of about 120 meters among themselves. A considerable part of this anomaly can be attributed to an uplifting force generated by pressure originating from beneath the Earth's crust, following the erosion of a substantial quantity of rocks and soils by a nearby river. This phenomenon is referred to as isostatic rebound, wherein a segment of the Earth's crust that experiences a loss of mass flexes and floats upwards due to the greater pressure exerted by the liquid mantle below, compared to the downward gravitational force after the mass has been lost. Although this is a gradual process, typically occurring at a rate of only a few millimeters per year, it can lead to significant alterations in the Earth's surface over extensive geological timescales. The researchers discovered that due to this geological process, Mount Everest has increased in height by approximately 15 to 50 meters over the past 89,000 years, following the confluence of the nearby Arun River with the adjacent Kosi River system. According to Adam Smith, a PhD student in Earth Sciences at UCL and co-author of the study, Mount Everest is an extraordinary mountain steeped in myth and legend, and it continues to rise. Our research indicates that as the adjacent river system deepens its cut, the resulting material loss is prompting the mountain to ascend even higher. Currently, the Arun River flows to the east of Mount Everest, eventually joining the more extensive Kosi River system further downstream. Throughout millennia, the Arun has sculpted a significant gorge along its banks, eroding billions of tons of earth and sediment in the process. Dr. Jin Gen Dai, a co-author from the China University of Geosciences, stated, In the Everest region, there exists a fascinating river system. The Arun River, located upstream, flows eastward at a high altitude through a flat valley. It subsequently makes a sharp turn to the south, transforming into the Kosi River, which descends in elevation and becomes increasingly steep. This distinctive topography, suggestive of an unstable condition, is likely connected to the extreme height of Everest. The uplift phenomenon extends beyond Mount Everest, influencing adjacent summits such as Lhotse and Makalu, which rank as the fourth and fifth highest peaks in the world, respectively. This isostatic rebound elevates these mountains by a comparable magnitude to that of Everest. However, Makalu, positioned nearest to the Arun River, is expected to undergo a marginally greater rate of uplift. Co-author Dr. Matthew Fox from UCL Earth Sciences stated, The peaks surrounding Mount Everest are experiencing growth due to isostatic rebound, which elevates them at a rate that exceeds the erosion process. Utilizing GPS instruments, we can observe an annual increase of approximately two millimeters, and we now possess a more comprehensive understanding of the underlying mechanisms driving this phenomenon. 
through an examination of the erosion rates of the Arun, Kozi and various other rivers in the area, researchers established that approximately 89,000 years ago, the Arun River integrated into the Kozi River network, a phenomenon referred to as drainage piracy. This merger resulted in an augmented flow of water through the Kozi River, thereby enhancing its erosive capacity and leading to the removal of a greater volume of soil and sediments from the landscape. The consequent loss of land instigated an accelerated uplift rate, progressively elevating the peaks of the mountains. Dr. Xu Han, the principal investigator from China University of Geosciences, conducted this research during a visit to UCL, supported by the China Scholarship Council. He stated, the fluctuating elevation of Mount Everest underscores the dynamic characteristics of the Earth's surface. The interplay between the erosion caused by the Arun River and the upward force exerted by the Earth's mantle contributes to an increase in Mount Everest's height, elevating it beyond what it would achieve otherwise. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.